Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and today we are going to be talking about making your own stitch markers. <laughs> Alright, so to make your own stitch markers, you're going to need some supplies. Uh, all of the supplies you can be um, buy at any of the local craft stores like Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, and also uh, at Walmart. So if you don't have a craft store, you can get them at Walmart. So this is these are called uh, round nose pliers they're in the craft section I have two sets because it helps me to do stuff better this way if that makes any sense but um, this set actually has like a wire cutter in the middle of it and that's really helpful for cutting uh, certain things I'll show you in just like it <laughs> but I think this pair was from Walmart and this pair is from Hobby Lobby but both stores have both types so uh, you need some of those and then for the actual stitch marker you'll need just some beads you know any kind of beads that you want to use for these ones I'm going to be doing today they're actually going to be for my Halloween cow so they're skulls and I just got the two skull beads and then some like decorative beads to put above and below them these are called eye pins because they got that little hole up there like a needle eye and they also have solid ones that's uh, got like a little nub at the end and it's called a nail pin. I like using eye pins because they're easy to attach stuff to if you want to make like a dangly part of your stitch marker. And it also keeps stuff from falling off the end. <laughs> You'll need these. These are called jump rings. They come in uh, different colors like gold color, silver color, uh, brass, sometimes multicolor. They're good for um, attaching the stitch marker beaded part to the fixture. And they come in a bunch of different sizes. And then last you'll need some sort of fixture to attach it to your project. Now I'm a crocheter so I, I need the ones that open. These ones open like that. These are called lever back uh, fixtures and they're, um, they're for earrings but I mean you can use it for anything obviously. You can also use lobster clasps and if you're knitting you can use bigger um, jump rings. So that's all the supplies we need today to make just some basic easy stitch markers and again I'll show you two. Right here are the two that I already made and they're just skulls for Halloween and now we're going to make them. So first we're going to take the eye pin, it's pretty long so you want to build your um, beads on there however you want to and I like to put a little bead on the bottom and then the main bead and then another little bead on top. Now all of my beads I got from Hobby Lobby because that's the craft store that's closest to me. But all of the craft stores and then Walmart have tons of beads to choose from. All different colors, shapes, characters, you, you know, you name it, they got it. <laughs> but I just stack them on there and now you see that there is a lot of um, excess up here. So what I do is I just hold it carefully <laughs> and get my pliers that's got the metal cutter and I try to cut most of that off but you want to leave enough to curl the top and I'll show that so you cut it off put that where I don't step on it later <laughs> and just shortened it and then you take the round part of the pliers and I like to get it kind of in the middle so that the circle is not tiny and you clamp it in between them and then you just twist it your wrist and that makes it bend over like that after you bend the pin, you just want to close it underneath the last bead on your stitch marker, which is this yellow one for me. Now you don't want it closed all the way because you want to be able to put your O-ring. So I just kind of manipulate it until it gets close and then when it gets close to being closed, I just put it in the, the wire pliers and kind of bend it like that. Now you do want to be careful to make sure there's no sharp side just like fill with your fingers because if it's not bent straight into the rod there if it's off to the side either side it can snag yarn but this one feels good so there's the stitch marker part the dangly part all made now to add the o-ring now o-rings are not solid they are split so that you can open them so what i do is why i like to have two pairs of these is you find the little opening which is right there and you put pliers on either side of them and then you just twist it pull them apart just a little doesn't have to be all the way apart and then you take your stitch marker make sure you got the right the up <laughs> side 
and you put it on there. And then you take whatever uh, type of closure clasp you want to use and stick on there too. And then you take your pliers and you shut the O-ring again, the jump ring. Let me make sure that it's good and closed so that it doesn't fall off. There's nothing, I can feel it, there's nothing poking out. And then you can, you know, mess around with it to make sure that it's not going to slide off. And there's your stitch marker. Ta-da! Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It's a lot easier for me to do this when I'm not recording it. <laughs> but um, they're really easy and fast and you can use all kinds of beads and things. This right here is my little stash. This is uh, usually the beads that I put on the top and bottom. This is just a bunch of random glass beads I have, some charms, all kinds of the fixtures, the jump rings, all kinds of just random beads and more of the pins. And these are the pins without the eye on it. Some beads uh, will go over that. That's why I like to add little beads on there too. Got all kinds of stuff in there. And this is just a Dollar Tree uh, storage container. So that's a quick and easy way to make some little stitch markers that you can use or gift or even sell if you wanted to. And these ones are destined for the winter of my Halloween cow. <laughs> if you have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll see you guys next video. Bye guys.